Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I create this product animation video. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your Blender. In my case here, I'm gonna use this face wash model. You can check out my other video if you wanted to know how I create this one. Let's hide this first. Then we're gonna press Shift A, Mesh. Let's just add a cube. Like this and press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier and then at the modifier property here we're gonna apply this modifier and press ctrl 2 again so we can have something like this tap to the edit mode then we're gonna shift d duplicate it as to scale it shift d I'm doing this at the edit mode. We're just gonna create something like this. Yeah, you're just gonna need to create something similar like this. And I guess this is enough. Let's step to the object mode. At the front view, I guess we need to rotate it per R. Press R, X, 90 degree. So we have something like this. And then we're gonna press Shift A. For the force field here, force. Just something like this. And then go to the basic property here. Change the strength to maybe minus 100. Just leave it like this for now. Then for this one, we're gonna use cloud here. Then quality here, change it to 10. We need a pressure. Pressure here, let's make it 10 also. Pressure density here. Let's make it 5. Shape. Nope. Collision. Check this self collision. Field weight here. Gravity, make it 0. Then we're gonna change this to just 100. Let's try to bake it. Okay, I'm done with baking. Let's hit the spacebar to see the result. We have a result like this. Then let's delete the bake. Bring back our model here. Let's GZ move it. GZ move it down here. And as to scale it. Let's just put it here. Let's put it here at the middle, and then we're gonna add a collision for all of this object. Set a our spear here, then let's try to bake it again. It's gonna take several minutes, it's all depend on your computer. Okay, let's hit the space bar again. Okay, collision X work, and then let's delete again. Let's press Shift A, mess, add a plan, 
our x 90 degree and then we're gonna scale it like this till it cover all of our spear here and go to the right view press G Y let's just put it here for now and then add a collision press shift A again mesh add a cube you can actually use two plane at the same time but I don't know it didn't work for me so I'm just gonna use a cube I'm gonna put it here and scale it without the Y axis by pressing S to scale and shift Y just like this scale it to cover all of the spear scale it more just like this and then we're gonna put it here at the frame one here this cube press I insert location and don't forget to add a collision for this object and select this spear let's hide this first and then select this again let's move to frame 16 then we're gonna press GY let's move it here closer to our product just like this press I again insert location and for this plane press I insert location and we need to move this frame to frame 1 press G let's move it to frame 1 just like this and then press G Y again let's put it closer here we still at the frame 16 press I insert location and then bring back our spear here actually we don't really need our subdivision modifier just delete it and then we're gonna bake it my baking is done here and let's let's see what happened let's hide this this one it will give a result like this Okay, next we're gonna select this object and go to the file. We're gonna export and select this Alembic. Then over here, enable selected object, subdivision here, apply, and particle system here. We don't need it, disable it, and just name anything you want. It will take a little bit time okay it's done and then let's hide this then go to the file import alembic here and select your alembic file select like this and hit the spacebar it will give you the same result and let's disable everything here yep like this and you can add a subdivision modifier let's go to the shading property let's add a material for this object new material I'm gonna make it red I guess and it's the metallic turn down the roughness I guess and probably English transmission let's change if it's a cycle here color management here let's make it filmic and high contrast and let's change this to render preview and disable scene and scene work. Guess the metal or brightness. We need to round this a little bit. Yeah, guess something like this, and let's add a background. Let's put it here, 
and let's find any color. Yep, I guess it's good. Maybe the transmission. And let's here see if A at a camera. Let's just make a simple shot and let's just add a HDRI. I'm gonna use this one maybe. one I guess okay and what else film here make transparency and over here let's change this to increase the rounds Yeah, I guess just like this. Okay guys, I think we're done here. See you again on my next video. And thank you for watching.